Hello, my name is Jacob Ora. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Victor, Idaho, USA, and we're here in beautiful Greece doing the Hellenic Mountain Race. And this is my bike setup. I'm running a 2019 Pivot Less, size large frame, full Shimano XTR setup, two piston brakes. And I'm running a one-up V3 dropper post with a physique saddle. I'm running Industry 9 ultralight 24 hole wheels with that nice Hydra hub. That's paired with some Victoria 2.25 Mezcals, which should be nice for the chunky terrain. And for light setup, I'm running a Exposure six pack. For navigation, I'm running a 1040 Solar Garmin. And for bags, I'm running full tail fin. I'm running their, what is it, 1.5 liter top tube bag, which I'm super stoked on to have all of my snacks and everything. And then back here, I'll run electronics. Um, I got a power bank, some wall chargers and things like that to charge everything. And then, in my frame bag, I'll be running most of my mechanics and everything. So that looks like uh, multi-tool tire levers, uh, spare derailleur hanger, all that good stuff, brake pads and everything. I'm also running long sleeve jersey in here as well. It's along with a couple of sets of gloves and hats for the nights when it gets chilly. So I just kind of wanted to highlight some special things about this frame bag. As you may notice, it's part of the Tailfin R&D division. Just some cool things about it. It's not a full frame bag, it's half, um, or I guess a little little over half. Um, that allows me to run a water bottle, so I have to carry a little bit less on my back, which is nice for those long hike bikes and just fatigue overall over the race. Another special note is it's uh, tapered, so I don't have to worry about rubbing my knees or anything. And then as all Tailfin bags, it has uh, the strap system opposed to Velcro, which is really nice because you can kind of adjust it on the fly depending on the volume of your frame bag, as well as you don't have to worry about any rubbing um, opposed to Velcro. That stuff tends to wear down your paint and uh, can do a lot of damage. So that is really nice. On the down tube, I'm really stoked on this bag. Clears the suspension travel and everything. I'll be running the Tailfin three liter down tube bag where I have my full sleep kit. And that looks like an SOS bivy puffy jacket. Um, I also have my rain gear down there as well. And uh, some thick socks that I'll be running as well. Uh, my goal for the race is to finish first off. And that will make me <clears throat> one of the, I think few people that have completed the Atlas mountain race and Helidic mountain race this year. And I'm hoping to do Silk Road in the fall. And that means I'll have done all three of Nelson's races in a single calendar year, making me one of the first people to do that. Also, I'm here to race. Um, I'd love to be pushing out the front of the pack. It's a new course this year. Nelson took out a lot of hike bikes and stuff. So I'm hoping to kind of push my own limits and see where I find myself a few days in, see how everything kind of shakes out. I'm feeling good. The flight over here was quite nice, actually. Um, I received my bike with me upon arrival, opposed to Atlas Mountain Race, where I was building my bike day of race. Um, that was a little stressful. So the stress has kind of gone away. Uh, I'm adapting to the jet lag pretty well. That can usually get me for quite a few days, but thank thankfully we got here pretty in advance, I would say, compared to most people. So a couple days in advance, I'm feeling good and ready to race.